Hello friends and welcome to the FPL preview for game week 20. Now if we talk about game week 20, we have just seen game week 19 in a hectic game week where it just came and uh, uh kept people engaged for a week or 10 days maybe to understand how the managers are doing, what kind of a points uh, they would be getting. There was a lot of topsy turvy games wherein we think uh, we thought that a couple of players would be doing exceedingly well. But unfortunately, this uh, game week was also marred with injuries to Kevin De Bruyne and Jamie Vardy, and I think it has given a lot of uh, thoughts to to Premier League manager to 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 ponder upon that what what they can do as an FPL manager, right? So it was interesting. We saw a couple of great performances. Manchester United now looks uh, exceedingly well at the top. They have played remarkably well. Manchester City too has done really well. They they now look that they are on, on a kind of a roll uh, with that unfortunate injury obviously which they need to take care of. Leicester has looked impressive. Aston Villa again uh, it's kind of a very consistent team which has looked pretty good. So all in all for Premier League it has been uh, an exciting journey, exciting journey, and we have also seen an unfortunate sacking of uh, Frank Lampard as well. So there will there are a lot of things to talk upon and a lot of things which FPL managers need to think of. But I have. Uh, to to have the discussion i have rajat with me and uh, rajat is going to also uh, talk about couple of tips uh, to the fpl managers for this game week so we're going to talk about who can be your possible replacement uh, for these two players who should be the captain for this game week what can be the differential picks and anything which can help you in making a very good fpl team so before we proceed forward i would request you to like subscribe and share to our channel So Rajat uh, how was game week 19 and what 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 were the best thing which you thought that uh, an FPL manager from an FPL manager's point of view what were the great things about uh, game week 19 Hi Sash uh, coming to game week 19 I think this was the first big double game week in this year's fantasy premier league and lots of managers played either a free hit or a wild card and some managers also resorted to a bench boost because they had their teams lined up most of the benches also lined up for two matches this game week so i think with an average score around 100 this game week this was a pretty high game week scoring game week for most of the managers and as you rightly mentioned <clears throat> a couple of fantastic performances this game week uh, john stones as a defender coming out with absolutely majestic scores in this 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 game week around 27 points for a defender and you also mentioned a couple of injuries to a lot of a couple of key players like Kevin De Bruyne and Jamie Vardy so let's just straight away you know get into the two pertinent questions for each manager this game week whom to replace Kevin De Bruyne and Jamie Vardy with so i'll start off with possible replacements for Kevin De Bruyne So if you look at Manchester City now Manchester City are getting into the groove they have been playing like the team we know them they are and they are getting a lot of attacking returns also now so it's a blessing in disguise for some managers who could not afford Kevin De Bruyne because of his price tag so if in case some people who did not have him they might not now get a chance to have a city attacking options at a lower price tag so i'll straight away move to straight uh, you know straight replacement from the city team only there are three options which i'm going to highlight one is uh, raheem sterling although he has not been you know a very in a very high scoring form but if you split his season into two halves so the first half of his season his expected goal inclusions were very low but in the last you know 6 to 7 games his expected goal inclusions for per 90 minutes has gone up by around 30 to 40% so with kevin de bruyne missing i think he'll be the you know the pivot around which the city midfield will revolve around and he will be you know have a lot, lot of probability to get involved in goals and assists so only thing that you know that is not in his favor is a you know hefty price tag of around 11.5 pounds so the other options which you can consider straight away from city's team are phil foden and ilkay gundogan gundogan brings with himself a very very impressive you know price tag of 5.5 pounds and he started in the last seven matches and he's played around 70 minutes in each of these matches and he scored five goals so if you look at his attacking returns compared to his price tag i think he's uh, he's at a throwaway price and any managers who are you know short of funds and want a city attacking inclusion 
they might look to gundogan and then also consider phil foden although i think foden is more susceptible to pep guardiola's rotation than ilkay gundogan because in pep guardiola guardiola setup i think gundogan you know starts a lot of the matches only thing which cannot be in his favor is that he might be rested but my personal preference in this case between these three players could be ilkay gundogan but if you have the funds you have other options as well as we move away from city i think Hyung Min Son is another option because most of the managers have would have left him out in the last game week because Tottenham had only had a single match. Son's fixtures, I think, look a little bit difficult if you look at the teams they are going to face. They are facing Liverpool, Chelsea, and Manchester City in the next five matches. But on the brighter side, last the next four matches, three of those matches are going to be home matches and. It's a good time, you know, right now to be facing Liverpool and Chelsea because of their dip in form. So, I think Son is a very good attacking option along with the price tag he brings because he's priced under 9.5 pounds, which is much more, which is much lesser than what KDB was priced at. So, I think Hugh Min Son is something, somebody who you, you would want to have him in your team for the next four to five game weeks. Uh, another very interesting option which if any managers do not have is Jack Grealish. Aston Villa has been a very consistent team, Arsh, as you mentioned in this, uh, what do you say, in this fantasy, fantasy Premier League season. So, with his price tag of £7.7, he might fit into a lot of teams because he is not very highly priced. And you look at his attacking returns, he is, his attacking returns have been diminishing in the last 4-5 to five matches. But his fixtures were against City, United and Chelsea. And he still managed to get the second most number of chances created after Mason Mount. So, Jack Grealish, I think he is due for a big haul. And if, you know, the luck favours him in the next few fixtures for Aston Villa, which are not very tough, he might be one of the players to look out for in the next 4-5 to five matches. So, now moving to Jamie Vardy, I'll bring it back to you, Arsh, and uh, I'll want you to, you know, share your uh, insights on whom the fantasy managers can replace Jamie Vardy with. Um, thanks, Rajat Rajat. Uh, Jamie Vardy now, uh, interestingly, uh, the team which is uh, about to face Leicester now, it's Ever- Everton, right? And Everton has a bloke called uh, Calvert Lewin, right? Who was actually one of the star FPL managers, if you would say, for, for the first lot of games, I would say, for, for almost for 14-15 matches, but I just, just tapered off a little. So, I would like to bring him back and, and, and see if he can actually now be trusted more, uh, you know, with Everton now, we feel that uh, would be quite consistent. That is one pers- one one player which I would be more interested in. Now, a couple of uh, players which I would also like you to, again, uh, touch base would be definitely Bamford. For Leeds United, because Bamford again had had a bit of dip in form in the last couple of games, he's somebody I I, I fully expect him to be now uh, you know a, a prominent figure in in a lot of people's team because of uh, what it has happened. Another player is is the Southampton duo. Either either you can pick uh, any anybody of uh, Danny Ings or Shea Adams. I think those 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 two players are also pretty important if you want to consider them. But uh, talking about a uh, couple of forwards, and, and now, and now the interesting part is a lot of people who play forward in the teams are actually marked as midfielders in, in, in FPL, right? So, for example, one of the players which I've always been a fan of is Burton Trore of uh, Aston Villa. Now, at the value, I think it is uh, below 6 even. I think he's also around 5.4 to 5.5. He, along with Gundogan, at 5.4 to 5.5. I think these two players should be definitely in your team because of the way they play. And if you want to have another player of Aston Villa, you can have El Ghazi, even though El Ghazi started off the bench in the last game as well. So, if you talk about uh, Vardy's replacement, then you do not have to go beyond Bamford, Calvert Lewin. And and and, 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 in, and if you really are short of money, then you definitely have those options of Burton, Rory and Gundogan. I would still say that Gundogan is somebody you can have in your team irrespective whatever budget you have because Gundogan is somebody who takes a lot of shots for Manchester City, right? He Even though he's a designated defensive 
a player but 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 he is somebody who likes to score a goal who takes free kicks also those dipping cristiano ronaldo free kicks he's also pretty famous uh, for as well so with now kevin de bruyne not there and uh, do not forget that gundogan also takes penalties for manchester city so an attack like city you would definitely have a uh, lot of these opportunities to actually score from the uh, i would say the the penalty uh, as well <clears throat> now there are very interesting uh, matches i think the teams which have the easier set of fixtures uh, we can consider them for 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 fantasy uh, captaincy for this game week so one is uh, obviously uh, united is actually facing sheffield united so rajat what is the chance that how many percent of managers do you think would actually back bruno fernandes to actually score uh, i would say couple of goals against a struggling and a route to the bottom team like sheffield united us bruno fernandes his stats speak for himself so no he needs no introduction in terms of his caliber and his you know potential in terms of fantasy points uh sheffield visiting united and united in imperious form at this moment having you know won against liverpool in the fa cup fixture on the weekend as well so and bruno fernandes only came on after half time so he's well rested he also has come out in public saying that he does being 26 he does not need a lot of rest so you can be rest assured that bruno fernandes is going to start a lot of the premier league games because those are the you know most important games for united at this moment and for a team like sheffield coming to united now at this moment will be a very uphill task i think bruno fernandes is a very safe captaincy choice for the coming week Although I think managers can also bet on Manchester City visiting West Brom because, as you rightly mentioned, City has also got a very potent potent attack. Even though they will be missing um, Kevin De Bruyne, and so you might you know want to go and you know captain one of the City forwards as well. Thirdly, I think the match between Spurs and Liverpool is going to be a very high scoring match as it has been traditionally been. So. even one of mohammed salah or harry kane or song hyun min also will be a very very good cap- captaincy choices in terms of percentages i think bruno fernandes will be a very safe choice and many managers will like to go with him especially it being a united you know home match although he has been performing very well in the away matches but the situation this time round will be different united are at the top of the table and they will be going all out against sheffield united so he is a very safe captaincy choice but apart from that i think any one of the liverpool uh, liverpool match match between liverpool and spurs you can pick mohammed salah uh, son and harry kane as well absolutely i think uh, if we talk uh, and and sadio mane see one thing which we need to understand now is because liverpool is ousted from fa cup from carabao cup now they have premier league and champions league to concentrate on right so we we expect that uh, salah would be starting a lot of these matches and liverpool in a situation where now it, it's a, it's a good thing say it was a, it was a kind of a blessing in disguise i would say that they have got ousted from fa cup against manchester united no liverpool fan would like to see including me but the way salah played in that game the, he scored a brace he looked extremely good uh, in front of the goal as well and and we looked at that that penetration was back so salah is somebody who you should not uh, write off just yet because he had couple of blanks in premier league uh you know before the cefa league match so so salva is somebody who would definitely be again vying for that golden boot uh, spot which he has already always done you know uh, till the time he is actually been signed in, in premier league right so so salva son kane as you said uh, tottenham and uh, liverpool game at an average they produce around four goals in a game which is exceedingly high uh you know for 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 any of the premier league fixtures so you expect a lot of goal and you can definitely bank on these players as Okay Rajat thank you so much and uh, we look forward to again sharing those FPL insights for the next week as well and uh, all the best to you guys uh, today at 10 pm IST uh, you have a deadline to make your FPL changes so you ensure that you make your team before that okay thank you Rajat and uh, let's let's again look forward to connect next week for another interesting game week thank you